So first things first, we needed a base for a catapult, and I decided on this. I thought a bungee cord would be a lot more reliable. My launch arm, I was looking around my basement, and I just happened to see a drumstick. Next, we do actually have a rubber band, and also, we actually have this piece of wood. <laughs> We're going to use it to create a launch angle that's actually higher than 90 degrees to actually launch the ball or launch is going to be this cup. The final two things we're going to use are this cardboard. Uh, Alright, so now that after, we, after we have all our materials ready, we're going to start putting them together. The first step is going to be attaching this bungee cord to our launch arm. What we're going to do is we're going to use duct tape to tape it to the bottom of this so that it doesn't fly off, but instead is still able to bend back, but when it comes up, it's just going to spread. Just like that. Um, in addition, we're going to take our cup and we're going to cut it in half and place this right here. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cardboard and cut the bottom out and these pieces right here so that it can fly back like this. And we're going to start testing it to see how far back we need to pull it so that it'll go different distances. And after that, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to poke holes in the sides so that we can put our pen, which is going to be what we're going to use to see how fat far back it needs to go, and fit that pen through there. That's it. Alrighty, so this is our finished catapult. As you can see, we tape this part down. Uh, we got our cardboard. In addition, we found a better piece of wood for this. It's actually round uh, that we taped down here. You can see our ball. Our uh, cup is right here, our arm and everything. And so how it works is we're going to get a distance, and we've already pre-marked two spots that we found. So when it's pulled back to this height, it's going to go 2 meters, and when it's pulled back to this height, it's going to go 3.73. So when we, get a, when we pull a number that's around 3.73, pull it back so that it stops when it hits the pen, and then release it. It'll go 3.73 meters. Uh, and so adjustable wise, if we pull a number around two meters, we're gonna take the pen out, put it in where the two meter spot is. Thing. So instead of pulling it back farther, it gets pulled back shorter and gets fired two meters. Alrighty, so we have our catapult set up here. Next, we set our launcher at two meters and we put in our pen at the predetermined two meter mark and see what happens. 